Welcome to World Cup Fever. I'm Michael Reeve, and I'm going to act as your fourth official drinking Gatorade, staying on the sidelines, and occasionally holding up a big sign. This, though, is Corey Branco, and he's going to tell you everything you need to know leading into the 2018 World Cup, and we start where else but a top Group A with the host nation. Yeah, Russia is the host nation. They're in a group with Uruguay, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia, a group they can come out of. Uh, the problem with being a host nation is you don't get to play that many competitive games leading up to the tournament. You play a bunch of friendlies, but those aren't like the real thing. The last time they played something that was semi-competitive was the Confederations Cup, but we know no nation really takes that super seriously. They finished that tournament one and two. New Zealand was the only team they beat, and New Zealand is not that great of a team. And Russia sits in the FIFA World Cup rankings at 64th. What they have been doing though is they have been playing that formation that has been really popularized as of late with the wingbacks. Uh, we saw them play a little bit more defensive with the wingbacks against Spain. They drew 3-3 in that one. And when they played a little bit more forward against South Korea with the wingbacks, uh, they were able to win 4-2. Okay, now the World Cup is always a star-laden tournament. If Russia's gonna make a, make a run, try to get to the finals, who's gonna have to step up for them? Fedor Smolov. And Fedor Smolov is playing for SFC Krasnodar, and he has been very good. He's really good at taking the one-on-ones. He's not afraid to do it. He's very aggressive when he's on the wall. He's kind of like a pit bull. And he, for his first touch, he can one time pass the keeper. He can, very good shooting. He has 13 games played, 10 goals, 2 assists to his credit so far in the Russian League. And I uh, wouldn't be surprised if he played well. In the back end, it's the man who's been there for what seems like ever, Igor Akinfeev in that. Uh, he plays for CSK Moscow in the Russian League. 29 appearances, 24 goals conceded, 16 clean sheets. But he's just been a brick wall in that back end for Russia for as long as I've been watching. Yeah, he's been with the World Cup team for 14 years now. That's pretty impressive. Now, every year they hand out some hardware at the end. Everyone knows about the golden boot, the golden glove. But they also hand out the best young gun. Is there someone on Russia that could possibly claim that title? Yes, Alexander Golovin has played fantastic so far he's 21 years of age plays with Igor Akifiv in Moscow and 17 games for him three goals three assists doesn't seem like too much but he's very good in that midfield he's uh very good with the ball on his feet he will get by almost anyone and his short passing is very good he averaging 1.6 key passes per game for Moscow put that in perspective Nabi Keita who's transferring to Liverpool in the summer who has been heralded as a very good young player Averages 1.5 Red Bull Leipzig in the Bundesliga. Okay, now the last team to win a World Cup at home, you have to go back to 1998 and France. That's the task that lies ahead for the Russians. They're going to kick things off on June 14th against Saudi Arabia. Now, Corey, what's the best part about soccer? Uh, everything. Incorrect. It is the outrageous goal calls from the completely Homer commentator, and that... I guess everyone has their own how, opinion. Yeah, well, that's how we're going to end every episode. So here is uh, some Russian guy going crazy.